Yeah, and that's exactly what I did not want to do. I just ripped off a few of the fingers. <laughs> What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. We're in a different location than we're used to working in. We're over here at my desk and today we're gonna to be taking a look at some insane support suggestions that 3D Printing Pro has just recently released. You might be wondering who is 3D Printing Pro and why is Uncle Jesse talking about them? Well, if you're doing resin 3D printing, you should really be subscribed and watching 3D Printing Pro's videos. This guy has been on fire over the last, I don't know, six to nine months or so, has just absolutely blown up his content. He's continuously posting and it's really high quality stuff all around resin 3D printing. A lot of it has to do with supports and support settings and suggestions and just in general, how to print better with your resin 3D printers. And I absolutely love the content. And what I'm doing today is gonna to be taking a look at his recent support settings and putting those up against my support settings that I use and see how they compare and if they really are the most insane and best possible support settings that you could be using. One small caveat to all this is I'm not actually gonna be sharing what those support setting suggestions are. You're gonna to have to go to his video and check those out for yourself. There'll be a link here in the video as well is in the description and pinned to the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave him some comments, show him some love. Again, help support some of these amazing content creators, whether they're digital artists or video makers like 3D Printing Pro, who's just sharing a wealth of knowledge with the community. So let's cut over to my computer and I'm gonna lay down the supports here using his settings and my settings with one file, then we're gonna rip it on the 3D printer. All right, so for this test, we are gonna need a file to print with. So here I'm over on Photos Mint's new website, photosmint.com, which is directly tied to his Patreon. Here I have access to files that I can download since I'm part of his Patreon. And what we are gonna be doing is printing this Diablo figure because it looks like a good representation of a, uh, a miniature that someone might run off and print. It's got lots of areas that are gonna re require supports all around, just a really cool file and something that would be really good for this particular test. So I'm gonna download it and brought into Chichu Box. All right, so check this out. I've got the files brought into Chichu Box and I have supports applied to both of the files. Here you'll notice I've got the file oriented pretty much the exact same way for both settings. The only difference is that I have them slightly rotated differently just so that it will all fit on my Sonic Mini build plate. On the right here in blue is uh, my support settings. Uh, you'll see here, just right off the bat at glance, they're a lot thicker and chunkier than 3D Printing Pros here that's on the left. Uh, one other call out is that in my support settings, I pretty much always use the auto support function and then manually remove and then do auto placement, at, uh, auto placement, manually place my supports after that using uh, the medium and uh, light supports. I pretty much always stick with the heavy supports and then uh, follow up with medium and light. Here with 3D Printing Pro, I went with his advice that he pretty much gives, which is avoid auto supports. Again, all lots of personal preference here and uh, went and manually placed everything. The big call out for this is that uh, my process took maybe five minutes. Uh, with his, it was about 20 minutes or so, uh, 20 to 30 minutes maybe, depending on how long it took me to uh, apply all the supports and edit and rearrange those and you know get all the fingers correctly laid out here uh, again you'll notice here that the um, that they're a lot thinner with 3d printing pros than mine uh, which is can be really good when it comes to actually print cleanup so one of the big differences that you're gonna see or that I imagine we're gonna see here just because I've done some prints with his settings in the past and mine is that uh, when I print things, and even you'll see that in some of my older videos because people call it out in the comments, is my settings are a little too chunky and the contact depth and diameter might be eating into the print a little too much so that you'll see big divots in my prints. The other thing that I'm doing between mine and his is I'm using a sphere contact shape. I actually kind of prefer this because it's easier, in my opinion, to break away and clean up afterwards. But with 3D Printing Pros, I mean, some of the files that I've printed that people have provided me that are based off of his settings, there is literally no cleanup needed with these. So it's, it's pretty 
impressive once the settings are correctly applied to the files. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, again, I'm gonna show you my settings real quick. If you're interested in seeing his, you're gonna head over to his video to see those. Again, I highly recommend that. And then we're gonna get these printed and we'll check them out and do a comparison. Uh, so here, real quick for anybody that's interested, my top's heavy settings. Uh, here's top, middle, and bottom. Uh, no raft, uh, both of us are not using rafts. So we're also, you'll see here, I'm using cylinder as the as the bottom shape. He's using a skate on his. I just prefer this, the cylinder. I feel like I have a lot better uh, adhesion to my build plate versus a skate. Uh, here, if I jump into the medium and middle, bottom, and let's come back over to light, top, middle, bottom, good to go. All right, so let's get this brought over to the printer, the Sonic Mini, and we're gonna load it up and see how it prints. All right, uh, not looking so great. I am seeing a print failure here. So, um, yeah, look at that. My print and my support settings. <laughs> Held intact, uh, three printing pros. I don't know what the heck happened here. Holy cow. Uh, it looks like my print exploded. <laughs> no idea what the heck happened here. Normally what happens is the print will break free from the supports. This just looked like something imploded on the file. That is super odd. That is super, super odd. What I'm gonna end up doing is uh, re-slicing this. Uh, I might readjust the settings. Actually, look at this. That gauntlet there uh, held up nicely. Uh, some of these light settings looks like they uh, broke away a bit. Yeah, I might go back and readjust slightly with some of this and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so the prints finished and this time look really good. And I think this was more of a printer issue than the actual supports uh, when looking at the previous version. Uh, I ended up looking on the Sonic Mini Facebook group and saw that actually there was uh, some really oddities with my prints that just weren't support settings where it was showing that the print looked like it exploded. That was actually uh, an issue with the screen, did a firmware update and it actually resolved that issue for me. But yeah, here we go. Here are the two prints side by side, printed correctly. Here is my support settings there. And here is three printing pros. Both look pretty good here. I'm not seeing any major callouts or issues immediately while looking at this. So I'm gonna get these cleaned up and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, so here is the second version of the print and you can see everything printed great after the firmware update. Again, I mentioned that I did modify the supports. I ended up using a lot more heavy supports using three printing pros settings. I did not modify mine at all. It still looks like it printed just as well on the previous one. And uh, 3D Printing Pros also turned out really nice with all of these different supports that I put down. Now that I've got the print up and running and the printer you know, running properly now that the firmware update, I'm gonna actually re-slice it and reprint it again with the original uh, file that I ended up supporting. I wanna see how this is gonna print with less heavy supports and more medium and light supports. All right, so third round of prints here, which again is the first prints without the print failures. And as expected, this printed beautifully. Really, really good looking print here. All right, so here's the print all cleaned up and out of the ultrasonic cleaner. Again, mine on this side here with the uh, auto loaded uh, supports that I'm running. And then here's 3D Printing Pros. Uh, updated insane support settings. I used almost entirely small and medium supports for this other than the base and a few other strategic areas where I used heavy supports, which is pretty much what he's laid out. I think for the most part, everything looks like it's printed really well. I see one little area with the loincloth where the support didn't really adhere, but it actually looks like it printed pretty great regardless of that. And yeah, I think the next step here is just gonna be to get this off and we'll test out removing the supports. Here you can actually see some are already starting to come loose and here if I just use my finger, I can actually pop those right off. These support settings are really, really nice. Uh, mine, on the other hand, I definitely cannot just poke those off. I'm gonna have to nip those off there. 
or else I'm gonna risk breaking the actual mace handle. All right, the first thing I wanna call out is just removing the prints from the build plate. The 3D Printing Pro Skate, uh, just because it's slightly angled, was so much easier to remove than my setting that I'm running here with mine. And I might have to consider switching over to that just because of, man, it was so much easier to remove that print. Assuming everything sticks and adheres well to the build plates, then uh, yeah, I don't really see any reason why I wouldn't want to switch to that. It just it just slid right off that build plate it was great. All right, seeing how best I can angle this and talk with you guys. So what I'm gonna try and do, this is my print with my support settings. Here you can see I really, I can kind of force my way into removing the supports, uh, these heavy supports on the base, which is good. I will definitely not be forcing, I can try to, if I hold the mace top here. I was able to get that one loose, but I think what I'm gonna end up having to do is use the snippers here to manually remove a bunch of these heavy supports on the mace, just because it's so fragile right now, right after it was fresh out of the ultrasonic cleaner and right out of the print. And I don't want any of the parts to break on this particular print. So I'm gonna very carefully try to manually remove as many of these as I can. And then I should be able to break the rest free. We'll see here. Yeah, and that's exactly what I did not wanna do. I just ripped off a few of the fingers. <laughs> All right, so I've got my print uh, and the supports removed. I ended up breaking off two of the fingers there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some of the crown pieces and I ended up snipping off some of the mace up top. And here you can see some of where I had the heavy supports. You're gonna get those little bubbles there that I can help sand smooth. Or in some cases I might have a little divot. But overall, this print turned out pretty great. Uh, again, it's, it's a really small one here. So this is maybe a, a great example of why his supports are gonna work so well, or at least that's what I'm hoping here. So let's get that cleaned up. All right, and here is 3D Printing Pros. This is the original print that I wanted to do here. So this was uh, all, pretty much only the heavy supports on the bottom and a whole bunch of me medium and light supports all around the rest of the figure here. So I'm gonna try and break most of these off by hand where I can. And again, yeah, that those those are coming off much easier than mine. And I think leaving, yeah, leaving a lot less damage than what mine did as well. Here, I should be able to start, yeah, oh my goodness. This is a, like really cool. Look at this, these are just popping right off of the print. That is super cool. Can I still get this off? Yeah, the mace is coming free. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is pretty spectacular. Uh, or should I say insane? Man, these are just peeling, peeling right off of the prints and the print is looking so nice. Holy cow. I'm just using the clippers here. So I'm trying to be extra cautious around that hand because I don't want to wreck it like I did on mine. And here I'm just gonna cut these off. Those I think I can just pull. Yeah, holy cow, and I just accidentally pulled and the fingers are still intact. <laughs> holy cow, those fingers are so thin. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to even get that on camera. Um, yeah, this is pretty amazing. Holy smokes, that is awesome. That was so much easier to remove than mine were. Uh, a lot less damage here. I've got a little bit of a nib and that's because I ended up cutting that off. I bet if I just pulled it, it would have popped right off and not really left a mark whatsoever. Holy cow, look at that. Ta-da! <laughs> that was his other, uh, that was this the second version where I ended up using more uh, heavy uh, than medium and light supports. Yeah, oh my God. And the finger still came out great. All right, this is gonna be fun to compare. All right, so here are the prints, supports removed and cured. And to say that I am impressed with 3D Printing Pro supports would be a very drastic understatement. They are pretty, as he states, insane. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm super impressed with the results that I was able to receive 
with his supports. And yes, I did spend a lot more time manually placing those supports than I did with mine. However, the results are just, I mean, especially for miniatures, a night and day difference. While my file and the supports worked well, and I think they turned out nice, they're just nowhere near as nice as what I was able to get with 3D Printing Pro support settings. I have a lot of cleanup that I'm gonna, or let's say a lot more cleanup that I'm gonna have to do if I was planning on, let's say, finishing this or selling these miniatures versus what I'm getting with 3D Printing Pros. Even the one that I went off and did the second time around, which is this one here, um, it still is a lot cleaner when I used mostly heavy supports and some medium and some light supports. Uh, yes, I, I think I'd still have a good bit more cleanup than I did uh, with mine. However, this one that I used mostly light and medium and only sparingly used the, the heavies, uh, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. In general, it, it, this is probably the best one that I've actually printed. So I'm, I'm really happy that I went back and retried printing this one to get these results. Also, this is the only one where the crown that this character has is perfectly intact. The gauntlet came out great. There's really little to no cleanup that I'm going to have to do on this. It's just super impressive. And what I'm really interested in seeing is how I can take what I've learned by using his profiles and apply that to some of my larger resin 3D printers. I mean, this works great for small things that you're printing like these miniatures. Th the settings as is will definitely not support a large helmet or anything like that that I'm trying to run off and print. But it's really interesting seeing how I might be able to take some of these techniques and apply them so it helps minimize that cleanup process. I mean, just in general, not having as many holes and divots that I'm getting on the bottom even is really impressive. It's just super, super crazy how well this has printed. It's just kind of blown my mind and I'm really happy that I went and tried this out. So 3D Printing Pro, thank you so much for sharing these settings. If you are interested in checking them out, make sure to head on over to his channel, check out his videos, subscribe, leave him some comments, and again, help support amazing members of these communities in uh, sharing the wealth of knowledge that's out there. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, and hopefully we'll be doing some more of these at some point here. I don't know, we'll see. It was just something fun and I wanted to do this weekend last minute after seeing his video. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now. What the heck is going on with my hair? Also, I really need to invest in a micro, micro, macro lens to get better close-ups for you guys in these videos. I'll be looking into that.